we've got today is a, a lobby of Parliament called by the Trades Union Congress. So you've got workers from all the unions, including the Fire Brigade Union, coming down to Westminster to lobby MPs about the next reading of the Trade Union Bill. Uh, and that's the bill that the Tories are proposing, which will seriously undermine the rights of workers. It's an attack on trade unions, it's an attack on the ability of workers to organise. So it attacks unions' finances, it attacks unions politically, and it attacks workers' ability to take industrial actions. What they are proposing is that new thresholds would come in, which would be two sets of thresholds. First of all, a minimum turnout, so that at least 50% of the electorate would have to turn out to vote in any ballot before industrial action becomes lawful. Clearly that doesn't apply to politicians at all. Uh, and then secondly, for public service, important public services like the fire service, an additional threshold that of those voting, a, a, a minimum of 40% of the total electorate have to have voted yes, which means that if you've met the first threshold, you would have just met the first threshold, you would have had to get a vote of 80% yes to, to take lawful industrial action. Again, completely uh, different to what is required of uh, MPs and other politicians who are making, in many ways, much bigger decisions about our lives. You know, the, what happens to public services, what happens to pensions, what happens if we go to war or whatever. They can be elected on much lower thresholds than they're demanding of trade unions. Well, I think you've got to look at why the government is doing this. The government is uh, clearly planning to devastate our public services. We're going to, in this month, we're going to hear the next round of major cuts to public services over the next three years. They are planning to wipe out tens of thousands more jobs in the public sector. They have already warned public sector workers that they can expect four more years of falling living standards. So that's their message for all working people. They're undermining the rights of workers at work uh, because trade unions are the, are the only way that workers have got to actually stand up for themselves in the workplace. So it's an attack on anyone who has to go to work for a living. See, today we're, it's about lobbying uh, MPs and people can do a lot of that over the next few weeks. If you go online on the U FBU's website or on the TUC website, there's ways in which you can email your Member of Parliament to say that you're opposed to this bill and we want uh, as many people to do that across the board. I think uh, there are meetings taking, taking place up and down the country. Uh, people need to first of all stay informed, people to need to be involved in our own union, the Fire Brigade Union, but in local trades councils involved with it, because it, the Fire Brigade Union, no individual union is going to beat this on our own. We need to stand together. There's six and a half million workers in trade unions in, in Britain. Uh, they all need to organise together uh, and to create a mass movement to stop this uh, government in its tracks. Defend workers' rights, say no to the trade union bill. Defend workers' rights, say no to the Trade Union Bill. Defend workers' rights, say no to the Trade Union Bill. Defend workers' rights, say no to the Trade Union Bill. Support workers' rights, oppose the Trade Union Bill.